everybody, welcome back to the All Things Good channel and to a new video. I hope you're all doing really well this week. Thank you for joining me. It's lovely to see you and it's lovely to be back. No video last week, of course, because I was on my little holiday on the beautiful island of Rhodes in Greece. And I've had a very, very lovely holiday, very relaxing and rejuvenating. Back to the rain now, though, and the reality of little old blighty, but we love it really, don't we? All things are good. So this video this week is a bit of a holiday vlog, so you will see what we have got up to over the last week. And it also includes a complete walkthrough and a bit of a review of the hotel that we actually stayed in. So should any of you be actually looking at this particular hotel, perhaps for your summer holidays next year, or you've never been to the Island of Rhodes before and you're interested in knowing a little bit more about it. I've been a few times actually, but haven't been to this particular area that we stayed in before. So it's a little bit new for me as well. But hopefully this video will give you an idea of what it's all about. So I'm gonna end this intro now, not have it too long because you've got a lot to get through this week. So I do hope you enjoyed this week's video. Let's get into it. Well, the holiday starts here. No, it's not very good. Unholy hour of the day, Birmingham Airport. Having my morning coffee, of course, cappuccino. It is now 10 to 6 in the morning. I think we got up at about 3. I was finally having a bit of a chill out. Bags have gone. Time for our flight and a holiday to start. Do you have anything to say? modern. There's a nice seating area here. We were welcomed with a couple of nice shots and two single beds. There is a television that I'm sure is not going to get any use whatsoever while we're here. Tea and coffee making facilities. That all looks quite nice. There is lots of wardrobe space and then we've got a bathroom with a very nice shower and there are shower gels and shampoos already here although I've obviously bought all my own and then at the sink area there's already a hair dryer again I bought my own then we've got some very nice and it smells gorgeous hand cleansing gel and there is some body lotion there's the toilet I'm not quite sure why we've got a phone in the bathroom but there we go so we are staying at the Electra Palace Roads 
hotel. It is advertised with the company we flew with, which is Jet2 Holidays, as five star plus. And on first glance, it is very, very beautiful in a very picturesque spot in an area called Iliasos. So first impressions are very good. Uh, music's quite loud around the pool area and I think in some ways that's kind of nice because it gives it a really good vibe and I quite like it but I can understand people not liking it all the time. But if you go to the other side of the hotel to the beach, because um, it's a private beach here, you obviously don't have that music but I don't know, I think it's quite nice to have a bit of everything but first impressions are really good. And whilst it is just our first day here, the pool does seem to be the piece de resistance of this hotel. It's very, very large, very clean, and absolutely gorgeous. And in the evening, even more pretty with all the lights and the bar area in the central part of the pool all lit up. And also in the evening, there is entertainment in this area as well. This is the view in the evening of the pool from our balcony. is not sandy it is quite stony and rocky and also that continues into the sea there is no sand underfoot so sea shoes are a must it's another sunny day here in rose having a lovely time we are day three so we're pretty much climatized now it's very hot but it's beautiful i'm not complaining in that sentence don't you worry about that um we're just going to go and have some lunch sun lounges and parasols and all the ones on the beach as well are exclusive to the hotel so there are no charge for any of these and actually although it's the end of September that we're on this holiday there was plenty of parasols and sun lounges both around the pool in this decking area and on the beach and actually the hotel did seem pretty full Today is the Invisible Chef, aka Paul's birthday, and we are three days into our holiday. It's beautiful, it's lovely, and we're going to go and have a meal at the Greek restaurant that's on site now at the hotel. We are staying at a hotel called the Electra Palace. So I've never been to this part of Rhodes before. I have been to Rhodes before, but I've been to Pefkos and Lindos, a different side of the island. Because we've gone five star all inclusive plus. We haven't moved off resort yet. We're going to Rhodes Town tomorrow for a day out, but we have everything on site here. 
but we're going to the Greek restaurant tonight because it's Paul's birthday. So we're just going to have a little pre-dinner drink out here, somewhere on the uh, in the grounds of the hotel, and um, just so blessed and enjoying this beautiful sunshine and this glorious weather. So I'm going to go and have my little gin and tonic now. On Wednesday, we took a trip out to Rhodes Old Town. This beautiful medieval city was constructed in about 1309 and is absolutely steeped in history. And what a beautiful day out we had. lovely hustle and bustle of a bit of tourist shopping we found this lovely little cafe and of course I stopped for a coffee
imagine the things these walls have seen over hundreds and hundreds of years. It's totally fascinating. hotel that we're in. Now what I would say for any of you that would be interested in looking at this hotel is if you want a hotel that has everything you're probably going to need for a one or two week holiday but you don't intend to move or go anywhere unless you're hiring a car or a scooter or hoping to use public transport then this is the place for you. If you are someone that likes to have a wander around, look at everything, um, it's restricted. Iliasos is a nothing kind of area, quite frankly. There is nothing here at all, but perfect location for a very large, all-inclusive five-star hotel, if you're happy to not move. We have done a day trip into Rhodes Town, which was provided by bus, which were eight euros per person. direct at reception that's the other thing about this hotel you are directly underneath the flight path for the airport so about every 10 minutes you do get planes coming in so if you're happy with that that's fine they're not too annoying it's actually quite good to look at actually but they are very very frequent so that's something to bear in mind as well however the hotel is being well it has been recently refurbished i believe it's this year so it is very, very nice, it's very plush, very clean, very modern inside. But um, I wouldn't do this experience again myself. It's lovely and I'm loving it and I've really enjoyed it. But um, there are a few down points for me, lots of up points, but I'm going to hopefully, anyway, I'm going to show you around a little bit um, of the hotel itself now. And then a bit later on, I'll tell you what I found really positive about being here and what was not so positive about being here. So here is your main entrance into the hotel. As you can see, it's very nice, very clean, very modern, and it's consistently very busy. This is a very continental hotel. We'll go through these doors. But um, yeah, there are some English people here, and not very many. Lots of French people, German people, Swiss people. And um, it is actually a very, very, very continental hotel. Very nice reception area, as you can see. 
and there's also a very nice little seating area here just in the reception lobby. Um, you also have customer services over there, a very helpful lady helping me arrange a birthday cake for Paul. You also have a very nice seating area here which lots of people sit in the evenings, like the piano lounge if you like. However, we haven't sat in here in the evenings because we found it too hot, too hot, so we've been sitting outside. Through here is the restaurant which is the all-inclusive part of the restaurant where you have your breakfast, lunch and dinner. Um, that I will come back to and tell you about a little bit later on as part of a little review about that. This is one of the bar areas here. There's mate, well actually there's only really this bar area. There are little bars outside and there's also lots of places to sit as well as sunbathe. So this is the lovely part that we have sometimes a little sit down in the evening. You can be partially indoors, partially outdoors. We do have a yoga class going on at the moment. Um, and as you can see, this is also right by the seafront. We do have a private beach here. Um, it's a little outdoor jacuzzi just over there. There's our little outdoor bar. So this is all part of the one hotel. So obviously exclusive to people that are in the hotel only. So that's quite nice. Um, it is mid September. And I would say this hotel is practically full. It's still quite busy. So I could only imagine that in July and August, it's very, very busy. But it is not a problem this week for us to find um, some beds and things like that but there are still quite a decent amount of people so this is um, walking through from the lobby to the other side of the hotel we have a nice little jewelry and gift shop here um, this has got lots of nice jewelry in it's quite expensive I'll take you that way shortly but this way is where we have another little gift shop and this is quite nice you can see how new this part of the hotel is uh, here you have a gift shop that's got the usual kind of uh, you know touristy gifts in really but you can also pick up um, some water and some crisps and some cans of coca-cola and things like that in there if you want to but being all inclusive we don't need to buy our drinks or anything in there oh there's a little station down there you can just see that that's always got bottles of natural mineral water for guests and you can help yourself to as many of those as you wish down this side of the hotel is one of my favorites is called Italian Passage and that is the Italian restaurant that I can honestly say has definitely got the best menu. We've had some beautiful meals in here actually, some really, really nice meals, um, very high quality, which doesn't apply to the buffet of the all-inclusive, which has been actually quite poor. But there's two further restaurants on site here. This one, the Italian, there's also a Greek restaurant. Both of those are very, very, very nice, top class, that I would say is five-star food. And I don't think the buffet is <laughs> at all five-star. So that has let that down. But anyway, let's go back through. And... You can actually hear the planes going over just from here inside this little bit of the lobby and I'll take you to the pool area which you will have seen little clips already in this video. So as you can probably tell now from the one side of the lobby you've got the access to the beach side and the other side you've got this access to the pool side. Now the pool is beautiful, it really is and it's it's um there is plenty of places for people to sunbathe lots of sun lounges over on the other side and there's also these very comfortable sort of beanbag chairs there's also um these beds up here which we've managed to get one 
practically every day, so that's been fine. But as I say, in, this, in the height of summer, I would imagine those are quite difficult to get hold of. First thing, we have noticed people putting their towels down early morning to try and reserve one, which I always find quite rude, really. But anyway, people do it. You can't stop them, can you? So this is our lovely pool area, and this is really lovely. And if you do stay here all day and you do get a little bit bored of just lying in the sun, there are different activities as well. They do some aqua aerobics just here in this part of the pool. Um, they also generally have music on. There is a bar right in the center of the pool just there. You can go and have as many drinks as you like, obviously being all inclusive. And they have music on throughout the day. And then again, there's music here in the evening. So I haven't got bored at all. And I'm generally not one for just sitting about all day. But I've really enjoyed the relax, to be honest. So I don't know how many rooms there are here altogether. I shall try and find out for you. But here's a quick look at the external view of the hotel. This is the backside, if you like, of the Italian restaurant that I just showed you. And then this is the entrance to the lobby at the rear of the hotel which is the pool side so there we go and then you've got further rooms up there no no clouds in the sky today whatsoever and there hasn't been all week which has been lovely the weather's obviously something i can't predict for you but i can give you a little idea of what this hotel is all about now let me tell you about the food this is really nice too. This is a little bakery um, and coffee house, which opens at 10 o'clock every morning. It's right by the poolside here. Um, so we do tend to grab ourselves a little pastry and a cup of coffee about 11 o'clock in the morning and that's lovely. So I'm actually gonna be, look at me. <laughs> it's a pool day. You're gonna have to excuse the hair and the face and everything really. Um, so, <laughs> Okay, I'm going to be brutally honest about this. This hotel is lovely, and I've had a lovely, lovely time. It is advertised through the travel company we used as five star plus, and I would argue that rating um, for a couple of reasons. The first of all is food. Quite foodie, as you know, and so is Paul, aka the Invisible Chef. Um, good quality food is very important to us, and it's particularly important when you come five star. I think it's part of the five star experience. Now, the buffet part of the all inclusive, you would expect to have a range of foods for everybody which is going to include children and all those kind of things but it has been very very basic and the <laughs> the first night we were here and we were tired and what one thing another we we sort of helped ourselves to selection of food and well it was just not very nice at all and everything was completely cold all the hot food was stone cold and we've experienced this a couple of times all the hot food is cold so it hasn't been very nice at all however the saving grace has been the italian restaurant here and the greek restaurants which are definitely five star plus but we can't really make out why that standard isn't across the board here now the rules are that you can go and use the buffet area um, for all your meals with no restriction whatsoever. The Italian and the Greek restaurant, however, you're allowed one meal for each week that you're here. So if you're only here for a week stay, you're allowed one meal in the Italian restaurant and one in the Greek as part of the all-inclusive package. And obviously that is because it's far superior. However, having had Paul's birthday this week as well, and having had such poor food in the buffet, we did actually speak to a member of staff in the Italian restaurant and a member of staff in the Greek restaurant and said to them, are we able to book this again for another night so we could have two Italian evenings and two Greek evenings? And they both said, yeah, of course you can. There's no restriction at all as to how many times you come here or 
how often you eat here. And we thought, hmm, that's not what we were told. So we've done that and we've had two meals in the, in the Italian restaurant. We've had one in the Greek, we're going back there on our last night. Um, and the food is amazing, outstanding there. Um, but we'll get to see what the bill brings us because it might be that they have given us one of each free and then they'll charge us for the others so we don't know yet so I'll come back to you on on that but I did ask a few members of staff and I also asked I just saw this camera a bit, I also asked reception was there any restriction on how many times you can go into the Italian and the Greek restaurant and they went no 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 you can go in as many times if you like didn't clarify whether as many times as you like actually means you are then charged for the second time round that you go in. So it'll be something for us to have a look at when we come to check out. So one of the reasons I say this is not five star plus is the food. And the second reason, and I hate to say it really, um, but it's true, is the service and the staff. Um, it seems to be the upper management when you do see them, which isn't very often, um, are pretty on the ball. But there are many members of staff that are very um, not suited to the five star experience there's a lot of young members of staff and they're working very very hard as all waiters waitresses people in the service industry do another plane going past um but there seems to be a bit of a, a of an attitude with some of them um that you know we're causing them an issue you know if you ask for a certain particular drink or something that you know they sort of huff and puff at you and this is a whole new experience for me because whenever I've been to Greek Greece and any of the Greek islands I've always found the Greeks to be very warm very kind and very lovely people um, and I would say 50% of the staff here aren't that and that really lets it down and it's such a shame um, so those are my two big reasons why I don't consider this to be five star plus. Um, if I was rating it, I'd say four star. Um, because generally it's lovely, really lovely. But there's just a few little hiccups and the biggest letdown is the food, definitely. Anyway, um, I'm going to go and do a bit more sunbathing and I shall come back to you later. Tucked away at the other end of the hotel is the Greek restaurant. This is where we had Paul's birthday, the piece de resistance. The food was absolutely amazing. And here we are, sort of the right at the end of the hotel. Still got your sunbed lounges dotted about. There's so many different places where you can come out and sit, which are, that's really nice because you don't feel that you're just restricted and contained to a tiny little pool area. And, you know, there's plenty of different places you can move about throughout the day um, for a change of a scene and what have you. There's plenty of people down on the beach today, as you would expect. Have swam in the sea. It's lovely. We saw a massive massive huge sea turtle which frightened the life out of everybody a few days ago because it was right near the shore but it's fascinating to see and I've since found out it's quite rare to see them they are in there but quite rare again here we go another plane coming right above the hotel so that is something to bear in mind we are directly below the flight path of Rhodes Airport. Advantage to that is when you land at Rhodes Airport, your transfer time here is not very long at all, quarter of an hour at the most. Downside is that you have to listen to that about every <laughs> 10 minutes throughout the day. Actually, we got quite used to it quite quick and um, we quite like it in a way. We sort of have a little look and see who's coming in. Um, definitely more foreign planes than English. There we go. There's a bit more view of 
the exterior part of the buffet element of the hotel. So now we're going to the bottom floor where the spa is. in Rhodes in Greece which has been very 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 relaxing which is the word of the week and <clears throat> it has definitely met that criteria for us we've definitely had a really good relax which was key to the whole holiday really the weather has been beautiful every day 30 degrees or slightly higher and we have certainly made the most, I think, of everything that's here. I hope you have enjoyed the little review of the hotel and this particular, well, not area, because we haven't seen the area really, but of, certainly of the hotel. Um, and yes, I would, I would give it slightly mixed reviews, as I've said earlier. I have really enjoyed it, don't get me wrong, really, really enjoyed it. I have been to Greece and the Greek islands many times before and I haven't done the all-inclusive experience in Greece before. Um, <clears throat> what I have missed is the just sort of going out, wandering about, looking for nice little local traditional restaurants where generally you get beautiful Greek dishes. We haven't had that here. The Italian restaurant and the Greek restaurant, as I said, comes another play. The Italian and the Greek restaurants have been fabulous. Can't fault them at all. Um, but I haven't been impressed with the all-inclusive buffet. The old buffet wasn't to standard, unfortunately. So I've missed that whole real Greek food experience. Um, and obviously when you're contained in one spot like this, you're not sort of really getting the full experience of being on a, a Greek island. It was lovely to have a day in Rhodes, old town, just steeped in history. It was a lovely day out. Um, and I'm glad we did that. That's broken up the week. I think we did it at the right time. And all in all, as I say, it's ticked all the boxes. I've got my little... This is called an easy spritz. It's non-alcoholic, I hasten to add. It's got cranberry juice and lime, and I think it's got lemonade or tonic water. I think it's tonic water, actually, but mm, it's gorgeous. So anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this week's video, this little review as well. I hope you're all doing really well this week. I am going to enjoy my last couple of hours here on the beach which is beautiful and it's lovely and warm before we actually fly home tonight. So I will be back next Sunday, same time, same place. I hope you can join me then. And until then, stay safe, stay in the boat and keep doing all things good. Have a great week. I'll see you soon. Take care. <laughs>